Hey guys, I'm going to be doing my full review of Liquid Smooth version 2.0 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus. So let's jump right into settings. Let's go down to about phone. And as you see right here, we're running Liquid JB version 2.0. This is their release candidate 3. They don't have a custom uh, Easter egg like the Android 4.1. Let's go back. Let's go back and let's go into the main part of this ROM actually. The main part of this ROM just like AOKP with their ROM control and a uh, Synergen mod with their tweaks. This has Liquid Splasher so you can go to About Team Liquid so you can see who they are and who to follow and stuff on Twitter and also donate. You can go to your display options for your rotation. This is also where you turn on the lock screen rotation. Um, volume rocker weight, you can change the notification light, stuff like that. Interface, custom carry label, the kill all button. So when you press, you have a little kill all button. You can force tablet UI, just like AOKP. You can disable the boot animation. Most of this stuff is just like AOKP, but um, under lock screen, you can change the center clock. Like, I mean, you can change the clock alignment to center, left, or right. Um, you can change the target widget alignment so you, if you have like if you just want the four you have it closer to the bottom but if you want like the eight you have it kind of toward the center a little bit um you have your weather calendar screen security and also you have slider shortcuts as you can see you can have up to eight so let's go back and i'll show you guys the lock screen and as you see i have the center clock i have the uh weather and i have all eight shortcuts for my email, my Gmail, camera, Google Plus, Facebook, and Plume. And also unlock it. So you're gonna have up to eight, which is really useful. So you don't have to just unlock your screen and go to your home screen and find the app that you want to go to. Um, for navigation, this is ex exactly like AOKP. And yes, you can have your custom uh, nav bar shortcuts. You can have up to five. You see, you go up here, you can have it to five. You can change those. You can change the uh, number of navigation buttons. You can have up to seven. So, if you wanted the seven, not sure how you would be able to push all those, but let's go back. Um, let's go to power menu. The power menu is when you press and hold your power button, by the way. Some people don't know that, so just kind of let you guys know. Let's go back. Um, you can have the reboot options, you can have profile, screenshot, airplane mode, navigation, silence, or press, or you can just press home and exit out of it. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Let's go to sound. You can have the uh, volume panel, which I, I really like, because you can change all the volumes from right here. So I have mine as expanded, but you can have it as expandable. So when you hit something, you can hit little settings and it expands. This is also where you can adjust, like if you have your phone face down during call and stuff like that. So let's go back. Um, under notification, you can have toggles and you can have the AOKP widgets. Toggles are the Synergen mods. I mean, toggles are AOKP and widgets are a Synergen mod. So, so as you can see, I have the Synergen mod ones because I think they look cleaner. Uh, it's just personal preference. You can change the toggles that you have. You can have both rows of icons at the same time, by the way. And here are the widgets. So, these are the ones that I use, though. So, let's go back for a status bar. You can have your custom, like, center clock with the AM, PM, battery bar. You can change the colors and stuff like that, as well as brightness control and your notification count. Let's go to kernel. Um, this is where you can mess with your I.O. scheduler. Not sure what that is. You can set those on boot, ZRAM, kernel, same page merging. Where it reduces physical memory, I guess. Never heard of it. <laughs> um, processor. You can change the uh, governor. Minimum CPU frequency. Fre frequency. It's a hard word to say. Um, maximum set on boot and also your voltage control. Um, under startup, this is where you can have custom startup tweaks to help improve your performance. And also you have theme chooser. 
which I have a uh, Google Bean by the the One Dynasty. Awesome guy. You should follow him on Twitter. Um, you see, go down here. I think that's it, actually. Let's go under Advanced. This is where you can mess with the colors, vibrator tune back, and also your GPU. Um, for performance, this ROM has been really good. A lot of ROMs have. Um, I haven't had any issues with the kernels. Well, with the kernel, I usually have an issue with the 4123 kernel, but it may just be my device. I also have an issue with it on my tablet, but I haven't with the entire week that I've been using this. So, sorry about not getting a video out earlier. I just got cable and internet yesterday hooked back up. So, for battery wise, let's go to battery. You can see I'm at 12 hours, 24 minutes. And I'm at 68%. Let's go to screen on time. That's also 50 minutes, which is really good. Especially for my phone, because I have everything running in the background. So let's go back. See a little bit of lag right there in the home screen, but this doesn't come with many apps pre installed. So let's jump right into camera, though. Because there are some camera tweaks that I would like to point out. Um, if you just hit settings and then you go to menu, you can change your store location, you can change your picture size, but what I like most is like the focus mode. Like you can change the focus mode so it's not continuous, you can go to macro, infinity, you can, and you can go to auto. So let's go back to continuous. Um, you, you also have the touch focus duration, the color effect, timer mode, burst mode. So you can have burst mode, so you can do 5 shots, 10 shots, 15 all the way to 20. So that's really awesome. Let's go back down. I don't want that on. So Also you, have, you can change your JPEG, like the quality of the pictures. It's on high now. I think high is, just, is there super high? Yeah, you can go to super. So. I just wanted to point that out. I've also noticed it in AOKP though, so it's not really anything new, but I just thought it was interesting. Um, but anyways guys, that was a quick look at slash kind of review of like the performance and battery and stuff like that of the Liquid Smooth ROM. If you guys have any suggestions of what ROM to flash next, leave a comment below. If this video helped you at all, hit the likes button. If you want to, you can subscribe up there. It helps me a lot. And as always, if you guys need any help at all, I'll have my Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus below so you can get a hold of me. And if you don't have any of those, well, I don't know. <laughs> all right, guys.